Trey Strelko, Sons of UCF, another practice in the books for the Knights as they prepare for Saturday scrimmage. Offensive coordinator Tim Harris Jr., the Thursday media availability, talks about the offense at this point during spring camp. Um, you know, what, what you're able to see on a consistent basis, our guys, they're getting out there, they're screening a little bit more every day. Uh, just see guys who haven't been in the system a while starting to get a real good feel for it. Uh, and then our guys who have been in it, just watching them take steps. Uh, you know, looking back at last week's scrimmage, so we gave our receivers a lot of opportunities to make plays downfield. That was the emphasis that day. Uh, so you saw a lot of our young guys show us that they can do that. And that's what we wanted to walk out of that scrimmage feeling that way. Our quarterbacks, all four of them, did a great job giving us chances. Because that's the biggest thing. When you talk about throwing the ball down the field, we tell our quarterbacks, hey, we're not only throwing guys. Give them a chance to do it. And all four of those guys are doing a great job. And we're just watching them develop. Coach Henshaw is obviously coaching the butt off of those guys. And uh, just – this week, uh, the emphasis has changed a little bit, so you know we, we're excited about that too. We've been a lot more physical this week. When, when you have an experienced guy that you know you want to scale back on for whatever reason, uh, you kind of look at it. As, I look at it as a blessing for our group because you know that kind of stuff happens during the season, and young guys haven't gotten an opportunity to get those reps. You know the pressure is a little bit different then. So for us to go through at this point in the spring and then have to go all the way through getting those reps is helping them a lot. And Xavier Townsend. When he got back, you know, he's, he's moving around in different spots than we've had him before and showing that he can play all across the field. You know, he's been predominantly a slot guy. He's playing a lot more on the outside now to help with Kobe being out, and he's doing a great job. You know, it's showing us that we we got we need to be able to use him in different ways. And then all of our young guys, it's, it's forcing them to accelerate in their process. Uh, Verdell, Tyree, uh, Goldie, you know, all of them that play that position, they're getting reps that they probably wouldn't get as many of. And, they're, they're showing that they're getting better. It's helping us, and it's going, it's going to be big for us down uh, in August, September. With our group, uh, what we tell those guys in the room is, you know, your production as a pass catcher, you know, that's not going to mean as much to, to me as a coach when I'm grading you every day than how you play without the ball. Uh, and so, you know, blocking, when you're running routes, where you're clearing out, all those things, when you're playing without the football, I need to see the effort level reaching the same standard. And, uh, and our guys, they're holding themselves accountable to that. And, you know, I, I feel great as a coach when, you know, you speak on something in a meeting and then you get out on the field and you hear your guys regurgitating that. You know, they're telling their teammates, hey, we're not straining enough on that block. You're not finishing that block. You're not winning that man. So when, they, when I start seeing them repeat and hearing them repeat what I'm coaching them to do in the room, I know that message is very clear to them. So, you know, playing without the ball, that's going to be our biggest emphasis more than anything. For K.J. Jefferson going into the spring camp, and where is he to those goals? Um, you know, I think we start off just – trying to make sure that we as a staff do the things that he's most comfortable with and that he's had success with. Uh, you look at the systems that he's been in before, uh, they, they're not a whole lot different than what we do. So we just try to grab those specific things and make sure that we're incorporating them into what we do. And, uh, you know, you watch him, the experience that he has, he's played a lot of football. He's played a lot of football, played a lot of meaningful games. And a lot of times as a staff, when you get a new quarterback, you got to worry about the jitteriness of, you know, just not being confident, but you see a confident guy out there. So that's the number one thing for me, that we walk away from every practice that you see him gaining confidence every day, him being deliberate in what he do, him being able to lead his teammates. And that's, me, that's the biggest thing that I watch. Because physically, KJ can do everything that we want to do in our offense, but just the off the field stuff and him being able to coach his teammates and then respond to him is what I want to see. And I'm seeing that. A walkthrough on Friday for the Knights as they prepare for the second scrimmage of spring camp Saturday in the bounce house. No media access for the scrimmage. Media availability following. For the Sons of UCF, I'm Trace Trolkin.